Why is Derek White the second best player on the Celtics? Matter of fact, that this is the order of the Celtics right now. Ready? Jalen Brown, Drew Holiday, Derek White, Porzingis, Tatum. That's the order right now of the Celtics. Who's better and whatever. Tatum is number four, max. Max. Okay? Drew Holiday, bro. The fact that the Bucks got rid of Drew Holiday should be ashamed of yourself. You want a championship with him? You should be fucking ashamed, bro. You should be ashamed. Drew Holiday was the reason they won. Okay? Drew Holiday and Derek White was the reason they won. Luca, I mean, bro, what can we do, bro? What can we do, Luca? What can we do? There's nothing we can do, bro. There's nothing. There's nothing you can do when Kyrie Irving is coming down, losing the ball because he wants to go one on one with Tatum for no reason. The f is wrong with you? I mean, the Mavs had so many fucking chances tonight. I think the Mavs had so many chances to win tonight, bro. I think they had so many chances to take the lead, get a stop. Like, bro, they just, there was no, Luka has no help, bro. I will say that PJ Washington played great. Kyrie was just breaking, dude. I mean, this is two straight games of just breaking, dude. Like, shots that he usually makes. Shots that, like, are automatic for Kyrie. And, dude, this is Luka not even 100%. This is Luka, like, limping and rib is injured. And, listen, as much as you love Kyrie, as much as you love any of these players, anyone, at the end of the day, every single person on that court is a human, right? So, it's not just talent, because there's a lot of talented people. It's also, can you perform under pressure? Okay? Can you perform under pressure? We've seen that Luka 100% can. And he's very young. We've seen that he can. Kyrie. We've seen him do it with LeBron a little bit. Right? We've seen him do it. He hit that good shot. But what the fuck else has he done, bro? Kyrie had, you know, when, when you look back at these playoff games... Before this, there were games. We remember we were making bets and we were looking at his games like, yo, why did he have games under 10 points? Dude, Kyrie has had fucking horrible games. But the way everyone's tweeting about him and talking about him, you would think that Kyrie's like fucking going crazy. Luka is actually carrying the team, bro. Now, Kyrie does occasionally have a good game. But dude, two straight games, you shoot like shit. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What the fuck, dude? I'm not gonna chill on Kyrie, bro. Because look at this shit. This was to win 75k. Everything hit for Luka. Obviously, Mavs didn't win. This one hit for me. But yo, look who's not on this. Kyrie Irving is not on this list right here. So this hit. Let's see the one. This would have paid... A hundred and twenty thousand dollars, bro. Look at this. Look at all this. Tatum, Brown, Luca, Kyrie Irving. You mother, you mother fucker, bro. A hundred and twenty thousand off of Kyrie just scoring two points. And then I live bet the Mavs a couple times. I bet I bet a lot on the Mavs. I made it back with this bet here, thank God. But I put about 80000 on the fucking maps tonight, and I lost. So that's cool. I also live bet the Yankees when they were losing. Shout out to the Yankees. Fuck the Dodgers. Fuck the Dodgers. Fuck Otani. Um, um, so yeah, that's, real, that's pretty much... So I'm waiting for Kyrie to tweet. I'm waiting for him because I got this, this parlay screenshotted. And I'm just waiting for him to tweet, bro. I'm waiting for him to tweet. Because I'm tweeting this immediately at him. I got it in my... I got it in my... Just let me know when Kyrie tweets. Because we're ready... I'm ready to go on that one, bro. I'm, I'm ready to go on that one. Save Luka? I mean, listen. 
they have to win game three, right? Like, I mean, we know this. They they have to win game three. Um, let's see. Is there any post game shit we should listen to? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is Kyrie wearing? He's got a feather on his ear. Dude, bro, you can only dress like this if you're fucking scoring 30, bro. You can't come out and shoot 20% and fucking have a choker on, beads, a fucking see-through shirt, and a fucking feather. That's not aura. You've lost the definition of aura. All you say is aura to everything now. I saw someone say Beetlejuice had aura. Uh, just some of our defensive rotations. They got a lot of... Uh, Hold on, what was the, what was the question? Sorry. What is your overall assessment of, of how you guys performed today? Where did you see growth and why was it still ultimately not enough? Uh, I mean, we beat ourselves a little bit tonight uh, just on our turnovers and uh, just some of our defensive rotations. They got a lot of uh, you know, opportunities, second chance opportunities where... Uh, they got an uh, opportunity to go into the fast break and um, just create uh, just mismatches in transition. Uh, so you know, you look at some of the positives for sure where uh, we won the first and fourth. But at the end of the day, we got to win all four quarters uh, if we want a great chance against this team. And uh, we got to make sure that we create enough separation where uh, we. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. And that fucking dude. Who is that dude? Um. Who's that dude who hit the th the the shit at the at at the buzzer? What's that guy's name? Peyton Peyton Pritchard, dude. Fuck that guy, bro. What the fuck was that, guys? Guys, I'm not just saying this because I had fucking eighty thousand on the maps tonight. I'm not. That's not why I'm saying this. He hasn't had a field goal in the whole finals. Do you understand what I just said? He has not scored a field goal. Now he hits a half-court buzzer beater? Dude. Nah, that's so fucking unlucky. I, I, I don't even know what to say, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. It's <laughs> the definition of more. Um, fuck Peyton Pritchard, bro. Fuck, man. We can play comfortably, too, and freely. Um, you know, so we, we had a good uh, pulse about the game, I believe, going up until halftime. And then afterwards, um, you know, they did with other great. Bro, I just saw a thing. It said, um, by the way, if you think I'm bullshitting about, like, who's the, who's, uh, the order of the best players in the Celtics, bro. Drew Holiday is absolutely number two right now. Look at this. 26-11, 78% from the field, no turnovers, bro. Drew Holiday, I wish I took this bet when I saw it. Drew Holiday, at the end of the first quarter, his over-under was 13 and a half points, minus 110. I don't know if you know what that means, bro. But that's very fucking good. Like, that's a good bet. Like, if you put, like, a, th like a thousand on that, you win two thousand. And I didn't do it. And he scored 26. So. Yeah, we're going to look at Discord clips. So, put Discord shit in there. Yeah. But I do want to get to the giveaway. I really want to do the giveaway uh, before it gets late. So, let's call it 12.15. What time is it right now? It's 12. Let's call it 12.15. 12.15, we're doing a giveaway. All right? By the way, what time is it where you're at right now? Uh. I just want to see who's East Coast, West Coast, who's in Bangladesh. Damn. Okay. Okay. Great teams do. Um, 
you know, where they put their foot on the gas pedal, started pushing a little bit, a little bit more, um, penetrating down the lane a little bit more and creating some opportunities at the free throw line. So, and they converted them tonight, 19 for 20. Uh, so you got to give them credit. They definitely picked up their defensive pressure. Um, but I feel like we got some. 19 for 20. Hold on. I got to see the Mavs free throws. Mavs free throws, 16 for 24, bro. Some great looks as well. So uh, this is definitely a great test for us. Uh, they did what they had to do. They won both games at home. Now it's our job to go home and win both games at home. Front row, Valencia. Valencia King, Real Talk Sports out of Dallas. Thank you for your time, Kyrie. Home court advantage is something that gets talked about a lot, especially from a media standpoint. As a player, is that something that you guys can lean into as the series shifts back to Dallas? Yeah, I mean, you want to take advantage of playing in front of your home crowd, uh, feeling a confident, um, feeling confident, and uh, being able to play in a familiar place. And like I said, uh, they handled what they were supposed to do first two games, and now it's our job to go home and handle our business. Um, but you got to give them credit. They kept competing. We kept competing. Uh, we just got to stay together in some of the tough times throughout the game um, where it you know, could be a four-point lead on them or a four-point lead that we have. Uh, we Dude, what about the play? When Lucas, when when um, someone just starts dribbling the ball up for no reason, you either give it to Luca, you give it to Kyrie. I don't know why these dudes try to dribble the ball up. It was at the end. He's dribbling it up. He's like losing the ball, throws it to Luca, and then Luca's like, "What the fuck are you throwing it to me for?" Throws it back, immediately stolen by Drew Holiday once again, and then Drew Holiday hits a three. It's like you can't like you can't do shit like that, bro. That was a stupid ass play. Another one is when they have a fast break, and this was even their fault. The the refs the refs hold them. They got a fucking uh, I don't I think it was PJ Wash. I don't know who had the ball. He got fucking shoved by two dudes. They didn't call shit. Whatever. Just let me let me let me know when he let me know when he um. Let me know when he tweets, bro. Your chest, uh, you know, w was there any question in your mind about being able to go tonight and... Luca, 32, 11, and 11. Hit, I don't know how many threes, and of course... You know, h how are you feeling physically throughout this game, you know, especially going into the fourth quarter? I mean, yeah, I actually was. Uh, but, you know, uh, I always want to play. Uh, so we did, all day we did a lot of things to get ready for the game. How were you feeling physically tonight? Uh, you know, obviously, a lot of minutes. You know, going into the fourth quarter, especially. Good, good. I, I was okay. Second row. Stat padding. There's, I'm betting you, bro. I, I, I'm not even gonna get mad. I'm not even gonna get mad, bro. Just get banned, bro. That's gotta be a Celtics fan, bro. There's no way that's a real human. Uh, let's see. I, I don't even know why I'm pulling this up, but whatever. Skip Bayless with the hot take. Drew Holiday is a better basketball player than Damian Lillard. <sighs> mm. I'd say Drew Holiday is a better defender. But... Lillard is a much better scorer. Um, I mean, we've seen Lillard score 70, bro. I mean, he's... You know what I mean? Um, I think Drew Holiday just does... More, like... I don't know, bro. I think I, I I think it's I think it's actually kind of close. But Lillard is definitely a better scorer. I mean, that's not even close. Lillard's only twenty four. Dude, Lillard's like thirty.
recency bias? <clears throat> All right, listen. Ten minutes till we do this giveaway. Let me make sure that the the shit's ready. Hold on. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to be ready to do it. Um, it's most likely going to be a keyword you got to type in. Um, so, so just get ready. Don't just like walk away. Like you got to at least type a word. All right. Last one was rigged. Listen, Los Pulse is skinny as fuck. You have a better chance at winning because of your name. I'm not going to lie. You have a better chance. You have a better chance. Luca, it looked like you had a uh, an interaction with this Celtics owner. There was, did he do something or say something that uh, that you thought was over the line? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know who's the Celtics owner. <laughs> was there somebody in the uh, in the first row that you were having an exchange with that was the Celtics owner? No. <laughs> Pro Luca never like admits anything. He's always like, no, nah, I don't know what you're talking about, and like he's clearly lying. Dude, if I get tagged in this one more fucking time, bro. Like. As I was just saying before, everyone on the court is a human being. Everyone you see on stream is a human being. I'm a human. I got to go to bed at night with this image in my head. And knowing that, yo, that image made people think of me. Do you understand? Like. Think about psychological. Oh, no, you don't care, though. You just want the 20K. You just want to giggle. You just want to type whatever that fucking uh, um, emote is, the Keck W, whatever the fuck. We love. Don't say we love you now, bro. Look at this guy. He needs two chairs. 